Okay, so today in history takes us back to um, September, September the 30th, 2013. On this day in history, something very terrible happened in Baghdad, and that's in Iraq. And um, we still do not have um, you know, definite figures regarding this because some news sites will tell you 11, some others will tell you 15, some others will tell you 14. But what happened was that there was at least 11 car bombs that you know went off in Baghdad, Iraq, that killed over 50 people, um, some say about 54, and injured about 170 others. And then this happened just the day after there was a suicide, suicide bomb in Iraq. So these car bombs went off, uh, mostly in the area in Baghdad where Shiite Muslims reside. Um, altogether, 14 bombs shook Baghdad, and the deadliest of them was in a city called Sadra. A white car basically blew up uh, where men had gathered to seek work, killed seven people there, killed two soldiers. Other car bombs began to blow up elsewhere. Um, people say because these car bombs went off in Shiite Muslim areas that the violence you know, was orchestrated by Sunni militants who viewed Shiites as heretics. So they killed more than 6,000 people. Uh, the bombs hit basically nine different areas. And uh, six of them in Shiite majority, two in Sunni majority, and one in mixed areas. Security forces were of course deployed to the area. They closed off streets, used sniffer dogs to search for more bombs. And really that was what happened on this day in history. Definitely the Sunni Muslims denied um, carrying out these attacks, but um, they were appointed um, to be involved in carrying out this bloodshed in Baghdad on the 30th of September um, 2013. I have this very weird theory of how, yeah, and I, th I think I might be very wrong, you know, um, how um, a lot of the terror, um, you know, attacks that have happened across the world in the Middle East and everywhere have mostly, you know, um, affected Shiite Muslims uh, the most. Uh, they've also, you know, happened mostly in Shiite Muslim uh, countries, but that's just a conspiracy theory. Um, and also, uh, yesterday we spoke about 42 kids who were killed. In Nigeria, a day later, the 30th of September, both you know, in, in 2013, uh, yesterday was 2013. Today, also in 2013, a day later, it happened in in Iraq. Um, so September is just it's a very very rough month. Mm. Um, so, a couple of years from now, we're going to be talking about the things that happened on this day in September. Actually, yeah. this year, September has been mostly for the oh, Nigerian entertainment industry. So when this thing happened, where we say, okay, 40, 54 people were killed, um, 140, 150, 170 people wounded. The United Nations put out stats saying that um, over 4,700 people have been killed so far in Iraq, Syria, 2013. Such a terrible, terrible figure to hear human lives just been lost because of what? Fundamental, whatever ideology it might be, it really doesn't hold much water it's terror. when you compare that to it's the value terror. of human life. Um, Nigeria also has very blistering, shocking figures in just 2021. So um, I don't even want to look back to you know, 2020, 2019 and, and, and the rest. Uh, but we have very, very painful figures, both you know, from terror activities and, of course, government, uh, Nigerian Air Force misfiring and making mistakes like that. Stay with us. Uh, we'll take a short break. When we come back, we're getting into our first major conversation for today, Thursday morning on The Breakfast. Stay with us. We'll be back.